home help caregivers in the Castries Basin were the most recent recipients of training sessions on infection prevention and control measures aimed at providing them with the tools to perform their daily duties in a safe manner. Health educator in the Bureau of Health Education, Janelle Alexander Dupree, says it is important that caregivers receive this knowledge on infection prevention and control as to ensure they remain healthy for themselves and their clients. The caregivers were the target group because they deal with the vulnerable groups. They deal with the elderly, they deal with the disabled. And those persons' um, immune system tend to be weaker. And because of that, the rate of um, infection, if they do get it, will be much higher for them. So with the infection control and learning those measures, they are able to break that cycle and that spread, enabling the persons to be uh, healthy continuously. Supervisor of the Castries North Home Help Caregivers Program, Jamila Charles, says she is pleased with this training and believes it will serve as a refresher for the caregivers on their daily practices in performing their job. On a day-to-day -day basis, we care for elderly persons who are immunocompromised, who are, I mean, lesser able than the average healthy person. And you find we come into contact with a lot of bacteria, germs, viruses on a daily basis. So you find it is important for us to get refreshers every now and then to remind us of the importance of things like proper hand washing, proper hand hygiene, I should say, and um, protecting ourselves and not just the clients. The health educator says disinfection prevention and control training will focus not only on COVID-19, but also so emphasize on other diseases. We're also going to inform persons about um, monkeypox, also about um, other infections that spread, including things like um, E. coli, which we get um, through our eating our foods, because all those things do cause sicknesses. It's just not COVID-19. We have a lot of different um, bacteria, viruses, parasites that can influence our health. The training focused on areas such as hand hygiene, sanitation, and infection transmission, to name a few. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fennel Neptune.